Okay guys, I think it's about time to rework the Reaper. Hey guys, welcome to a brand new series I'll be starting on the channel, where I take a look at styles I feel could benefit from a rework. Basically, based on both personal experience and thoughts shared by the community, I'll be covering styles that aren't up to current standard. Today, that style is going to be Hitman, the oldest legendary and, in my opinion, the single most sickening style in this game. Why you may ask? Well, let's jump into the context. Hey guys, welcome to my office. Remember a while back when I said I had an agent and such? Well, I wasn't kidding. We run a corporation dedicated to helping UBG in any way we can. All are welcome, and soon, we may have a way for you all to help us out. More on that in the coming weeks, but enough talk, let's get to Hitman. I've created some basic slides, just going over the context before we enter into the rework. Basically, why does this thing need a rework in the first place? Anyway, let's get to it. First, let's go over the main issues. Hitman's first and most problematic issue is just how cheap and oppressive it is. When you think about Hitman and Mashiba, you think of an outboxer, who has weaker, but very fast, snappy, long-reaching punches. However, that's not at all what it is in-game. Basically, they overshot the whole, snappy punches, idea by a mile. They ended up making the mistake of giving Hitman way too much damage for its already dominant range and speed. Just how broken is it that the style that already has the best attack speed and range in the entire game also gets the second best light attack damage? It's insane, and needs to be adjusted. The next issue I wanted to discuss is its skill problem. As of now, Hitman lacks any sort of skill ceiling or floor, meaning there is literally no room to grow beyond its basic mechanics. This is really bad since it basically makes Hitman the most dominant style a new player can learn to use, just due to its insane base abilities and ease of use. This creates players who sit on this one style forever, never trying to get better at the game and only sitting behind its insane damage output. Lastly, Hitman overall is a really dull style, and shouldn't even be a legendary in its current state. With how basic its kit is, and with how easy it is to just be passive and whittle down the opponent with light attacks, it's no wonder why Hitman is often considered one of, if not the most boring style in this game. But as for everything there's always a reason why it exists. In this case, I feel like it can be brought down to three points. Age, unstable balancing, and the fact that adjusting its kit without making the style completely different is very hard to do. Hitman is a very old style that hasn't been touched up in a long time. It only ever receives buffs and nerfs, and it's never truly been adjusted to fit with the times. This is something shared with many older styles, like Ippo, Wolf, and Slugger. Their mechanics were made for old UBG systems, and the ones in effect now have made them very different than they used to be. There's also balancing troubles, since outright nerfing the style would instantly kill it. As much as I hate its damage, if it lost even a fraction of it, I feel Hitman would be borderline unplayable. Despite its speed and range, the lack of damage would make pressuring Hitman a lot easier, as they would no longer have the raw output needed to keep you at bay. It's just going to make it a glorified long guard in my opinion, so we have to adjust it carefully. But speaking of adjusting, another thing about Hitman is that adjusting it is extremely difficult. Despite our complaints, Mashiba does actually M1 spam in the source material, no matter where you look. It's a core part of his kit, so removing that would gut the style entirely. I've seen people argue for his more basic stance to be the base mode, then make flickers more of a gimmick, but honestly, I don't think that could work. It removes everything that makes Hitman even somewhat unique. So how do we fix Hitman? Simple. Take what works or what's needed for it, and remove it from what's not needed. Then, add in more things you feel could make it better. Once put together, you have a rough mock-up for a rework. So here's my breakdown. As for what to keep, here's what I went with. 
First, it is an outboxer at heart, so don't change its fundamentals. Two, flickers and chopping rights are important to keep, since they are core elements of its kit. Having these as attacks makes it feel like Mashiba, so let's not remove them outright. And for what to add, I decided to break it down into two simple steps. The first and most important thing to add is any kind of ability. As of now, Hitman is the only legendary to not have some sort of unique gimmick or ability. All others have one, so it's about time Hitman gets one as well. Second, it needs to have limits to its defenses. This can help curb its passive playstyle harshly, as making it more punishable means that they'll have to be smart and zone well, or else they'll suffer for it. Well now that we have some context, let's get into the rework. Now that we have some context, here's what I have come up with for the rework. First off, things that affect Hitman's base. This means that, no matter what, these new stats do not vary and are a part of the style no matter what. The first of these additions is a new drawback to Hitman. This drawback makes it so that when your block gets broken, it cannot be put back up for 3 seconds. This makes Hitman a lot easier to pressure, as with this addition, Hitman won't be able to keep running from your pressure forever. Think about it like this, if you deal a bunch of damage to Hitman right now, you can't really guarantee that any of it can stick since, if you break their block but also break your stamina, often it's 50-50 to see who hits first after both stuns, which favors the faster, i.e. Hitman, style. However, now that they have to worry about their block getting broken, which leaves them open and defenseless, it's much easier for you to pressure them, since now you can steamroll through their block to guarantee your pressure sticks. Of course, this isn't impossible to deal with, as you can simply just stop holding block and be fine, but if a hitman isn't careful, they could easily lose their block, which can then lead to a guaranteed M2. But enough about the drawback, the second addition is a buff to hitman's kit. This makes it so that Hitman's M1S lock both you and the opponent in place, which makes it able to pin the opponent down while also keeping you out of the way. This is super useful, as this helps the Hitman stop pressure in its tracks, without pushing the Hitman into harm's way. If you manage to land an M1 on the opponent with this change, you can easy chip away at them from afar and keep the pinned away from you, which is how flickers were used in the anime. And those were the changes I made to its base kit, now onto the main event, the gimmick. In the end, after a lot of contemplation, I went with a pretty unique gimmick. This is simply called range control. The way it works is simple, while using Hitman, you enter two different modes depending on distance. Each mode has its own unique drawbacks and benefits. The first of these modes is judgment mode. From Hitman's max range to half its max range, you enter Judgment Mode. While in Judgment Mode, your attack speed is normal Hitman speed, your range is normal Hitman range, your M1S deal the same damage as Kimura, but have strong chip damage, and your M2, the chopping right, pushes the opponent backward. Your dashes are the same as normal Hitman's. The purpose of this mode is to fit in with the outboxer phenotype Mashiba has, without needing to make it so oppressive. Since the damage is lower, now there's no way to over-rely on flickers for dealing massive amounts of damage in seconds, so while in this mode you can't just win by spamming light attacks. However, do not mistake this mode for being weak. With the added benefit of locking the opponent in place and with your insanely high chip damage, Hitman is still quite a force to be reckoned with. Since this mode retains your massive range and speed, you can easily shred through the opponent's block to deal massive damage to their HP. While nearly all of it is healable damage, the opponent will still need to be careful as one small step could mean losing all of it. In this way, using Hitman to outbox is still plenty rewarding, but it's nowhere near the raw output of its current state. Also, since the chopping right now also pushes the opponent back, Landing one can easily force an opponent into neutral, making it even harder for the opponent to press in. This way, outboxing becomes more skill than passive. If the opponent manages to close in, 
the hitman needs to worry about their guard and losing these benefits, which I will go into more a bit later. But, if you can't time your dashes well, expect to have to back up after a hitman lands a chain. This is a lot more similar to what Mashiba would do in the anime, as while his attack didn't break through guards like Sendo or Ippo, he was able to cut through gaps in guards to deal a good amount of chip damage. The second mode you can enter is called Execution Mode. From within anything less than half of Hitman's max range, you enter Execution Mode. While in Execution Mode, your attack speed and range is basic, your M1S deal their old damage, but deal less than average chip, your dashes are basic, and your M2, the hidden uppercut, has extremely short range but no attack indicator. This M2 is slightly faster than average, faster than basic but noticeably slower than Wolf, and deals a small counter bonus, similar to Hawk's old bonus. This mode is based more on the style he's currently using, where at mid to close range against infighters, instead of running away to his max range, he's perfectly comfortable duking it out inside. This mode is quite powerful, since it regains Hitman's current damage, in exchange for losing its range and speed bonus. Since it's been shown that Mashiba's power up close can startle even world champions, I imagine this being the mode you'd want if you want to deal a ton of damage. While more risky, it's really rewarding since your M1S are so strong. Just keep in mind that this mode sucks at dealing chip damage, however, so against styles with strong recovery or block this probably isn't the way to go. The M2 is pretty unique as well. Instead of pushing the opponent back, you gain a very strong tool at killing aggression. This M2 is faster than average and deals a small spike in counter damage, which makes it very easy to kill an aggressive opponent. However, this M2 also has the shortest reach in the game, so you need to get in close to use it. And of course, since this mode and now has basic dashes, you're much more agile, meaning that you can stay in this mode via forward dashes or quickly exit using back dash. Using these two in tandem will be essential to properly using this reworked Hitman. Judgment, the more defense-oriented, outboxing mode, is very good at dealing with tough defenses through chip, while also being able to force opponents away via a well-timed M2. Execution, the more offensive, mid-range type, focuses more on using your attacks to win exchanges inside. With this mode, you're able to deal high amounts of damage to non-blocking opponents, while also being able to deliver powerful and fast M2S up close. Together, this style will be easily able to deal massive amounts of damage, while also having very unique play styles. However, if an opponent can time their dashes right, they can force their way in, which allows them to both force you into execution and get a chance to deal their own damage. Due to your unique block downsides, you must be very careful as to not let it fall, but even more careful to not let your health fall instead. This will make for a unique style that is, in my opinion, more fun and unique than current Hitman. And that's my rework concept. What are your takes on it? Do you like this, or do you think something else would work better? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, I'm the Untitled Boxer, and this has been my take.